check the mic and make sure it sound right boys hello guys uh, welcome back for another interesting session so this time uh, actually there was many uh, common questions like when you come to japan or when you go to any other country like what will be your living expenses or what will be the your living cost that is a common question right so this uh, so this video i thought of explaining our recent experiences with uh, the moving into apartment that is uh, uh, from the dormitory if you come to university as a student you have to move out to the dormitory in a very short time like let's say few months uh, six months or more roughly one year maximum so that i would like to share so the initial expenses how much will come and also the uh, you can say the moving in cost and uh, the roughly what was our experience there was some bitter experience also <laughs> a little bit uh, we have to be careful that also i thought of summarizing in this video so you can see the apartments here so this kind of apartments are around and you can see the snow that it is in the winter so it's the snow on the road i thought of recording in the walking today so let's get into it <laughs> yeah so the topics i'm gonna cover in this one basically like uh, what we, oh, like what was the uh, and expenses for moving into japan dormitory apart dormitory to apartment the buy some groceries at cooking store all this process like uh, the in, in a short i'll try to summarize so basically you will be coming to japan let's say um, a month before to a month before to your academic life or you are uh, coming for job you will come a little bit early that is where you do all these formalities so let's go in the procedure first so first thing you have to move into japan and then you will uh, uh, what do you call it? you will do the formalities like uh, come into japan and do the paperwork and move into the apartment house the dormitory house the paperwork and uh, the uh, ward office you have to register yourself and yeah don't forget to register the my number card because uh, the my number is very much useful for your transaction like money transactions uh, like if you are coming to other country the sending money through transfer wise they require this my number and also there is many other occasions where it will be very useful so try to apply this my number if you come to uh, if you go to kita this ward office it's really cold <laughs> it is looks to be 3 4 degrees but uh, the wind makes it minus degrees so like uh, you have to get this minimum registration done then you will start moving to apartment right so the minimum moving expenses like uh, for us it will be 50000 and we have to put caution deposit in the dormitory while coming into uh, dormitory when you are entering into the university and uh, the first month rent and some utilities you have to move in around 80000 it came for us for the initial moving in you have to pay in the first 15 days or so before that you will be entering into the house and then you have to buy the groceries required for cooking right the first initial cooking purchases so that will be done and then you will go for other procedures now the story starts like after moving into apartment uh, sorry moving into the dormitory all the things are done so the initial shopping you will be doing in the early stage very first few days and then uh, you'll have to start cooking sometimes and you'll eat outside both will be there but the next story once you settle down the registration formalities and uh, uh, and uh, the paper submission on the bank works at the university then you will you'll ha you will have to start approaching for the apartment moving so the apartment moving there there is a little bit tricky for me uh, 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 like even for anyone my friends also ask me i was one of the first person in our batch we moved in to the i moved into the private apartment from the dormitory like we have to move anyway in 6 months so i have started processing after my 2 months of all these formalities are finished so there the trick is i don't know about uh, european countries completely i haven't been there maybe they are familiar like uh, it is a cold country so you'll be a uh, knowing already like the heating system and uh, the ventilation you'll be knowing already so they may be knowing but for me being in india i am not uh, familiar with these kind of things before so it's like i'm new for me but i have been here for uh, previous summer so some idea and i know some seniors they are very well connected here the community so they used to tell me some inputs so with that i have some filters like uh, the cooking facility and the heating facility like there is 
heating facility there are there is multiple options the major options is electrical and gas the electric one uh, which will have something like uh, uh, the building heating also will be included but uh, with the electrical for me the drawback is i find it uh, the cooking there is no exhaust so there is a challenge for me i don't want to uh, i mean the indian indian receipts it is so uh, strong in the smell and flavor so that will be difficult for uh, having uh, cooking regularly right so there is some more points there uh, in the registration i was putting the res residence card health insurance non tax applicant application the non tax payer a bank account submitting i think this i will put in the dis uh, it is normal information uh, yeah about apartment we are coming into discussion now yeah so the heating system that is one one thing and then uh, for me the second factor is the building construction there are like wooden buildings are there in this cold region and uh, there are uh, steel concrete structures are also there this is a vending machines everywhere it is available <laughs> so this couple of things and uh, the heating and the cooking and the building type some more recent observations includes even the age they considered how old the building is but uh, that i don't know before uh, but still my house is okay yeah let me add up uh, let me add up my the typical thing what what i had experienced that is uh, the heating system in the house and here it comes to my opinion on the people on japanese and the quality systems so i believe like many of us i'm not blaming now also but i believe that they will take care of everything even though you are new and all the working condition all these things for me the heating system was not working in the beginning so i have to <laughs> manage for 2 3 days without uh, that first cold weather uh, weather cold winter and i got some support but still it was little bit expensive and later they fixed it so it's like uh, the problem is you have to be uh, still you have to check by yourself thoroughly they will say like uh, they will also think it is working because they thought it is normal but the system sometimes it will be old especially in the winter it many many heaters gets collapsed that i came to know after while fixing the uh, my heater they told me this is normal issues for these people so you have to be thorough with that uh, even though they'll say you verify clearly before they go back and uh, that is on one side and apartment moving the other one is the heating and the cooking one the exhaust and uh, what do you call the things the, the inside things and uh, the uh, the walls like wooden buildings people say no but uh, i i also didn't choose some people i don't know what is actual opinion wooden building maybe earthquakes effect i don't know but uh, the windows the ventilation or the what do you call the what uh, the ceiling like it said there will be two layers because it's a cold a cold wind uh, weather and also the sound proof there will be two layers but still sometimes the what do you call the air will be coming inside and the the walls will be not perfect and if it's not perfect they will ask us to pay so that is another thing we have to be careful careful while while we moving in we have to verify the first thing the same thing we used to do in the dormitory also they used to ask us to send the photos if there is something wrong so that uh, Also another reminder. See this. I was walking actually. You can see the snow, and uh, I can't put the paces in the video, but I can show this area and the vehicles. So just walking and just recording while going to lab. <laughs> yeah, there are a few more things about moving into apartment. Once you decided all these filters, you can uh, use these websites, Apartment and uh, the other companies. Like use the online website and filter out. and go to the place where you can ask for the apartment moving they'll give you details but uh, if you have already done some homework it will be easy your process will be quicker that thing is it additionally after moving uh, yeah during moving you can also need to remember that the cleaning charge some buildings are very high some buildings are moderate so we have to be careful choosing that also like uh, the cleaning charge while you move out the contract breaking expenses like some apartments if you move out before the contract ends we have to pay a lot so the more details i think uh, this two guys in group they have put up in the their website they are helping the moving out in the apartments like that all the furniture and everything 
so i think we can also refer to that video if you want more details i'm just covering my little bit difficult uh, situations and uh, how i sorted out and also i wanted to show this weather around while walking how it looks today is cloudy and my fingers are still freezing it's cold so i think that's all some more stories i'll try to summarize like this instead of sitting and speaking it doesn't look good so i thought of recording while walking around so that i can it will be looking good for me and for you while watching also i'll also see like a memory in my future so i think uh, yeah it is little bit expensive starts from the apartment cost from 20000 to uh, it goes up to 50 to 60000 if you can invest more you will find better options the area and the, the facilities inside the house and uh, yeah for mostly people will choose around 30 to 45000 yen uh, that is a, uh, most of the time the single people the family people will go at least 50000 yen i have i have also involved in helping my friends they are family so yeah that's all have a good day <laughs> have a co cold let me show the snow before closing the session see still the snow is still there it's melting little by little this month but still there is lot of snow you can see <laughs> everywhere snow snow this is a mud i was telling the other day so they put this snow this stone so that they can walk uh, without slippery on the icy surfaces okay guys i think i am getting freezing my fingers i have to wear my gloves and the mouse i just recording i have to do this thing so wish you good luck thank you for watching and thank you for the continuous support